Hi, I'm Doggo. This is the Mayfex stand made by Metacom Toys. Finally, am I right? A review on the most important part of every Mayfex figure. Stands are crucial to action figures, so no reviews being made on them is surprising. The Mayfex stands have been included with pretty much every Mayfex figure release being consistent over the years. The one we're looking at today is the more first gen one without the pole and crouch gabbler and a bunch of doohickeys. Painting and sculpting is great. The stand is sculpted well with this nice thin body with round joints to hold the screws, as well as having a nice clear paint added to give it that see through. Look. The base is pretty big, but it includes other holes to place multiple stands to have on one base. And you can't forget the claw. It has a nice wide circle with two parts to hold the figure. Now, a major flaw with this is how easily it, it can break. I've broken about a hundred of these claws, so when opening them up, just be sure to be cautious with them. And talking of quality, the stands are pretty flimsy. However, if you take a screwdriver and tighten the screws, it becomes tighter. This will help you with posing the stand. The claw opens up and has a swivel at the base. There's a hinge joint, hinge joint, hinge joint for the arm, and a swivel at the bottom. It is average for a stand, but it doesn't need to be overly engineered like some stands. Why is it engineered like this? Now for accessories. What did you expect? The claw and arm can be unattached, but, th but that doesn't count. Future stands, however, include more claws and arms, but this is the OG. For his height, he's unfortunately on the short end of the stick. Eh? Eh? This isn't a stick. Here he is with the Figma and Rebel Tech stand, the Medicos and Mezco stand, a SH figure at stand and Bring Arts, and finally, here he is with the Retro Carded Modular Iron Man. In the end, the Mayfix stand is pretty effective, but it's not the best. I'm not saying you shouldn't use it. I mean, it's free with your figure, so you could still use it. It's just not the best. It does what it needs to do, however, it's just way too short to get figures in the air and way too scary to use with the claw. However, Metacom has improved these stands with the newer Mayfexes, so it's probably better now. As a stand ranking, it would have to go Mezco, Super Action Statue, Revel Tech, Figma, Mayfex, and then Bandai. As for where you can get the stand, J just buy a Mayfex. Stands are included with every Mayfex figure for free. It's like getting two figures in one. Unlike Bandai, where you have to pay extra for a shitty base and a stand. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are on stands. Being such a critical part to posing figures, I thought the stand should get some spotlight here. I'm sorry for not uploading. I've been taking a while pondering and doing nothing, but I'll get back into the pace of it. And I swear I'll review this Iron Man. Okay, bye.